Here is a peek into my process. Okay, more than just a peek. Hello! I'll show you from the very beginning when I still was figuring out the idea. I just had one thought. When I was young, I thought some of my dolls were bold because someone in the factory didn't finish them. I know. I didn't understand then that they were just making a cheaper doll. So I wanted to show how the hair was weaved when I was taking it apart. And when I'm animating something that is turning, I like to put it on some kind of a pivot so that it doesn't move left or right and then I can really perfectly turn it. So I'm trying to figure out the hair choreography here and maybe test out how I'll rig it. Maybe use some kind of a wire in the middle and cover it with the hair and bend it and it won't really show then. I like to show my hand in my videos because I think it kind of emphasizes that what you're seeing is definitely real. And I'm just gonna move their hair and try things. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Just trying to imagine things maybe this way or that. Maybe I'll hang it up somehow. Like pineapple. So I kind of have an idea and I wanted to test it out. And I'm using this app called Animation and I do the frames frame by frame in 2D. I never really did 2D animation, not even really good at doing these kind of things. But I thought it will help me to quickly figure out my frames and show me how it will eventually look like. So the final thing is and then it goes and then switching hands, switching hands, it goes. Then I decided to do a quick rough test to see if my 2D test would be possible with the real hair. And I decided to use aluminium sheets for the hair because it was really easy to bend and shape. And now that I know my frames, I just wanted a quick thing to show me how it will look like in real life. I use my phone and dragon frame for this. Now I have to figure out how I'm gonna make the hair stay in the air. I'm looking for some plastic material. I don't throw away anything. So luckily I have so many of these like old packaging material, parts of binders or files and it worked. It was hard enough so the weight of the hair doesn't make it all fall down and it's clear and I can really easily make this. So if I just heat it a bit, I cut my plastic into strips, I melted it in certain points and shaped my piece as I wanted, just made it cool down again while bending it and voila, it worked. Just added some double face tape to it, like adhesive, you can also use spray adhesive but this one worked. Just make it less sticky, very professional, and then just tape it underneath the hair and kind of cover the edges of it with the hair and with the right camera angle or placement this will totally not appear on camera at all it will not show voila a bit creepy but voila and i can easily remove it as well so the plan was to make plenty of this now that I know each of my frames. So I know how it's gonna look like, I make molds, I heat it up and shape them, and then I would replace them in each photo on both sides, which was a terrible plan because I would definitely move the head. So I only realized afterwards. I made this instead. I got two pieces of clear plastic and sandwiched a piece of wire in between. I glued the whole, like all of this together and also glued a bit of hair from another doll to it. And then I could just bend this and create all the forms I want. This is, this is one that I actually used. And you see, I can make all my shapes with it. And it worked perfectly. This is another doll, so it doesn't really match up, but I would just staple it inside and cover the hair with the piece I made and it would just look as if it was part of the head and I would just bend it. Another thing I did was get a piece of wire. I colored it silver because I didn't have silver wire, <laughs> but I just wanted, to, wanted it to match the hair color 
and then I just got a piece of double face tape actually struggled to cut a piece of tape still struggling still struggling and then I just covered my piece with it make it like all tapey tapey I just want to cover the whole thing and then I remove the paper also struggle to remove it struggle and you're gonna struggle with me so now here it is all sticky sticky so I just get some another piece of hair from another doll and I trim it take all the fuzzy part out and just twist it into my sticky wire cover the whole thing up and now I have like a strain of hair that I can bend and twist as I like so when I wanted the hair to twist all and stay in place I took this piece and wrapped it around it to trap all the hair and shape it as I want I did it more nicely of course but you get the idea you would never see the piece of wire there and I don't need to edit anything afterwards and that was it I hope you enjoyed watching this